We'll explore Joe Rogan's core values, his thoughts on woke culture in schools and society, and how these views clash with those held by many in Hollywood and the liberal community. What makes Joe Rogan's views so different from those of woke Hollywood and liberal society, and why do people either love him or hate him for it? I feel like people are going to mock it in the future. Woke? Woke. Yeah. yeah. I feel like using woke now, like unironically, is super slippery. I see a trap coming. You do? The, the jujitsu practitioner in me is like, I don't like this move. This is, uh, I know where this leads. <laughs> I'm like, this is You're a totally trap. right. This is how I feel. <laughs> yeah. I see that woke thing. I'm like, what are you woke? You woke up? What are you, 12? Joe Rogan started his career as a stand-up comedian in the late 1980s. His humor often pushed the boundaries, dealing with edgy topics and real-life experiences. This no-holds-barred approach won him fans. Later, Rogan became known for hosting the reality TV show Fear Factor, where contestants faced their biggest fears and wild challenges. Around the same time, he was also making a name for himself as a commentator for the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC, a job he still holds today. But it wasn't until 2009 that Rogan really found his niche. That's when Joe launched the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. What started as a small project has now become one of the most influential podcasts globally, with millions of listeners tuning in for each episode. His show is famous for long, unfiltered conversations with a wide range of guests. People are getting sick with this woke ideology getting oh, crammed down everybody's fucking throat. It's the worst. And if you don't think that's the case, you're probably on that, you're, you're on that bandwagon. At the heart of Joe Rogan's success is his commitment to free speech and unfiltered conversation. Rogan believes that people should be able to discuss any topic, no matter how controversial, without fear of being silenced or canceled. He often criticizes what he sees as a growing culture of censorship, especially on social media platforms where posts can be flagged or accounts can be banned for sharing certain views. Rogan has spoken out against what is often called cancel culture, where individuals or groups are boycotted, shamed, or otherwise punished for expressing views that some consider offensive or politically incorrect. For Rogan, this goes against the very idea of a free society where diverse opinions can coexist. He argues that when people are afraid to speak their minds, meaningful conversations and the chance to learn from each other get lost. Instead of silencing people, Rogan suggests that we should engage with opposing views, debate them, and let the best ideas win. Here's the th what we got to stop looking for things that make you angry. It's it's all nonsense. It's it comes from people that want compliance. This is the, the whole thing about woke culture is people that felt like they've been pushed around, they felt like they've been bullied, they felt like they've been maligned, they haven't been treated fairly, and now they want to per turn it on you. On the other side of the spectrum, we have what's often referred to as woke culture. This term generally describes a social awareness movement that emphasizes issues like social justice, diversity, and inclusion. Hollywood, known for its liberal leanings, has embraced this culture in recent years. Celebrities use award shows to speak out on social issues, and movies and TV shows often incorporate themes of social justice, gender equality, and representation. While many people see this as a positive development, bringing attention to important issues, others, including Joe Rogan, feel that it can sometimes go too far. They argue that the push for social justice has led to self-censorship, stifled creativity, and even reverse discrimination. In Rogan's view, the arts should be a space for free expression, not a tool for pushing a specific agenda. It's, it's all nonsense. It's, it comes from people that want compliance. This is the, the whole thing about woke culture is people that felt like they've been pushed around, they felt like they've been bullied, they felt like they've been maligned, they haven't been treated fairly, and now they want to turn it on you. One area where Joe Rogan's views have sparked considerable controversy is education. Rogan has criticized the influence of woke culture on school curricula, arguing that it can lead to indoctrination rather than education. He believes that kids should learn how to think critically, not be told what to think. Rogan's perspective is that schools should focus on basic education and teach kids how to analyze information and form their own opinions. He argues that introducing complex social theories at a young age can confuse children and that parents should have a say in what their kids are taught reinforce the idea that freedom of speech and free debate are critical aspects to knowledge. Another major point of contention between Joe Rogan and woke Hollywood is the issue of gender and identity. Hollywood has increasingly highlighted gender diversity and the rights of transgender individuals. 
Many celebrities have voiced their support for non-binary gender identities and have pushed for more representation in media. Joe Rogan, however, has taken a more skeptical view on some aspects of this topic. While he supports individuals' rights to live as they choose and respects the gay community, Rogan has questioned certain policies, such as allowing transgender women to compete in women's sports. He argues that biological differences can create an uneven playing field, a stance that has earned him criticism from many who see it as transphobic. Rogan's views highlight a broader debate about balancing individual rights with fairness and common sense. He believes in respecting people's choices but also feels that discussions around these issues should be based on facts and science, not just ideology. If you want, I'm in support, I'm in support of you being whatever you want to be. I'm, I'm a, a person who believes in free will or, or your, your ability to freely express yourself. Look, when you're letting a six foot four man compete in women's weightlifting because he's decided that he's a woman now mm. and That's and now he, he's winning and he's wearing makeup and he looks like a gorilla and he's on stage lifting his arms up yay yeah. diversity yeah. like you're you're stealing from women you're stealing you're stealing yeah, victory you're cheating. you're cheating one of joe rogan's consistent themes is his criticism of political correctness rogan feels that the pressure to be politically correct stifles honest conversation he argues that people should be able to express their views even if those views are unpopular or controversial. In his opinion, political correctness has led to a society where people are more concerned about offending someone than having meaningful dialogue. Like, why do women uh, have certain jobs? Why do men have certain jobs? How much of that is because of influence? How much of that is because of their choices? How much of that is just because of natural proclivities towards certain things? Rogan's stance on free speech often puts him at odds with many in Hollywood and liberal circles who argue that certain speech can be harmful and that it's important to create safe spaces, especially for marginalized groups. They believe that language and representation matter and that being sensitive to how we talk about race, gender, and other issues can help create a more inclusive society. This clash is at the heart of the divide between Rogan's worldview and that of the woke movement. For Rogan, free speech is a fundamental right that should be protected at all costs. For woke liberals, the focus is on building a society where everyone feels respected and included, even if that means silencing certain types of speech. As a comedian, Joe Rogan values humor as a tool for challenging norms and addressing taboo topics. He believes that comedy should have no boundaries and that comedians should be able to joke about anything. This view often conflicts with woke ideals, which emphasize sensitivity and respect for all groups. In recent years, many comedians have spoken out about feeling restricted by woke culture. They argue that the fear of offending someone has made it harder to perform authentic comedy. Rogan shares this sentiment, saying that the best comedy often comes from pushing boundaries and making people think. The best way to counter wrong speech is correct speech. When you start censoring people, the problem is it's a fucking slippery slope. And there's a reason why we've been so steadfast in supporting the First Amendment in this country. Rogan's approach to comedy is to be bold and unapologetic. He sees humor as a way to address life's complexities, even if it means making jokes that are controversial or uncomfortable. In his view, trying to make comedy safe takes away its power to challenge the status quo and bring people together through laughter. Joe Rogan's unfiltered style and willingness to tackle controversial issues have earned him a massive following. His fans appreciate his honesty, his skepticism of mainstream narratives, and his commitment to free speech. They see Rogan as a breath of fresh air in a world where many feel silenced by political correctness. The debate over Joe Rogan often reflects larger cultural and political divides. For some, Rogan represents the fight against an increasingly censorious society. For others, he embodies the need for more accountability and responsibility in the media. His views on free speech, education, and identity politics challenge us to think critically about what kind of society we want to live in. Are we heading toward a culture of open dialogue and diverse perspectives? Or are we moving into a world where certain ideas are off limits and only one narrative is allowed?